Hi guys and my warm greetings to everyone who is watching this video in which I'm going to talk about a new range of products brought to you by MF Plus brand. MF Plus is one of the pioneers in research and manufacturing of the contemporary cell therapy products. Almost two decades ago, MF Plus was the first to introduce to the world the nanotechnology in formulation and manufacturing of the cell therapy products. NOP, the nano-organopeptides, are the first organ-specific peptides cell extracts obtained through the cold enzymatic process and ultrafiltration and reduced to the nano size to provide highest safety and outstanding bioavailability. In a span of 20 years, nano-organopeptides have shown high efficacy in complementary management of broad range of conditions varying from its application in aesthetics and beauty industry to clinical use as therapeutics and anti-aging modality. One of the most researched and evidence-supported areas of application of the organ-specific cell therapy is immunotherapy, targeting reversal of the immunosenescence and thymic involution. There are multiple clinical studies and reports of the efficacy of thymic peptides in reversal of the age-related degeneration of thymus. Being a primary lymphoid organ, Thymus is greatly involved in immune responses. Maturation of lymphocytes enhance the function of the adaptive immunity. With age, thymus is undergoing degenerative changes and by the age of 50, there is only about 10 to 15% of the functional thymic tissue left. Thymic involution is associated with uh, such phenomena as immunosenescence and inflammation, the chronic low-grade systemic inflammation, which in its turn is characterized by the increased susceptibility to infections, poor immune responses and adverse responses to vaccination. Needless to say that such conditions create additional risks in case of viral infections and of course especially COVID. The global data unequivocally supports the fact that individuals with poor immune uh, responses, poor immunity, are more at risk of severe COVID, risk of hospitalizations, and poor outcomes of the disease. On the contrary, individuals with strong and adequate immune system and absence of chronic systemic diseases, such as metabolic syndrome, diabetes, chronic heart disease, and COPD, are having a potentially lesser risk from COVID infection. As we know from the first days of the pandemic, some of the major factors involved in the severe COVID disease are the cytokine storm, failure of innate immune system responses, and inability to transit from innate immune responses to adaptive immunity. Thus, we come to the actual formulation of the new NOP product called the Pandemic Emergency Immune Booster, main focus of which is strengthening of the immune system and preventive immune support. The four active ingredients of this formulation of nano-organopeptides are nanomized thymus cell extracts, super transfer factor, and cell extracts from the lymphatic nodes and mesenchymal tissue. The function of the thymic cell extracts are reversal of the age-related thymic involution, support of the lymphocytic maturation, and hence the support of the adaptive immunity, formation of the long-term immunological memory against antigen, reduction of severity of the infection, and as a consequence, the reduction of secondary complications. The second active ingredient of the pandemic emergency immune booster formulation is an immunomodulator super transfer factor. Super transfer factor has a triple effect on the immune system. It acts as a rapid activator of NK cells, the natural killer cells. It is an antigen-specific 
product and capable of supporting the immunological memory against antigen. It also supports innate immunity via stimulation of interferon production and it also counteracts cytokine storm. The primary function of the mesenchymal tissue cell extracts is stimulation of interferon production, which greatly contributes to optimization of innate immunity. It also stimulates function of the lymphoid tissue in the lymphoid organs, which produce immune cells and promote maturation of lymphocytes, macrophages, fibroblasts, monocytes, and so on and so forth. Along with that, uh, mesenchymal cell extracts contribute to the build-up of the myofilaments that are the actual contractile actin and myosin proteins, hence carry the potential to strengthen cardiac muscle structure and contractile function. Another function of mesenchymal peptides is its contribution to structural integrity of the endothelial membranes of the blood vessels and ability to suppress inflammation of the endothelial membrane, which essentially is a thin and fragile lifeline. Addition of the peptides extracted from the lymphoid tissue are meant to improve adaptive immune responses, immunological memory, and also support transition from innate immunity to adaptive immunity, which is vitally important in case of COVID disease. The current formulation, the Pandemic Emergency Immune Booster, which is researched and formulated by the MF Plus laboratories, exists in two forms, as nano-organopeptides and as mitoorganelles. The difference between these two formulations mainly consists of molecular weight and concentration of the bioactive peptides present in the products. Non-organopeptides, the NOP range, mostly consists of peptides and growth factors of low molecular weight and molecules with a smaller linear size. The molecular weight is below 10 kilodelta and linear size of the peptides is below 10 nanometers. Such formulation enables sublingual route of administration, which provides high safety of the product with a low rate of allergic reactions and relatively high bioavailability. NOP peptides can be used every other day and even every day as an intensive protocol if it is required to do so. Contrasting to the NOP, the mitoorganelle peptides, which were research created and recently formulated by MF+, first in the world, contains much larger in molecular size and weight peptides. This formulation can specifically target mitochondrial function inside the cells and carries higher efficacy and potency. Mitoorganelles are recommended to be used from two to three and even four times a week if it is necessary to do so. Unlike NOP, mitoorganelles can be administered sublingually, so the routes of administration are either IM or subcutaneous, one vial each time. The content of active organ-specific ingredients in mitoorganelles pandemic emergency immune booster, similar to NOP, consists of cell extracts from thymus, mesenchyme, lymphatic nodes and supertransfer factor and have the similar mechanism of action, though higher in its potency, however require lesser frequency of administration compared to nano-organopeptides. For the cases of active ongoing disease, MF Plus has prepared a recovery booster formulation of cell extracts. The active ingredients of the recovery booster are cell extracts of the thymus, lungs, heart, and CNS tissue. Such formulation is created with the purpose of increasing the survival rate and reducing the severity of the disease. Thymic peptides support thymic function during the infection and stimulate lymphocyte maturation in order to enhance adaptive immunity and provide a long-term immunological memory against antigen. 
Cell extracts from the alveola cells of the lungs are added to prevent damage to the alveolar tissue and reduce the severity of acute respiratory distress syndrome by supporting the gas exchange in the alveolar tissue and oxygenation of the blood. Along with the acute respiratory distress syndrome, one of the hallmarks of COVID is myocarditis. Addition of the cardiac myocyte cell extracts to this formulation of mitoorganelles supports contractile function of the heart, reduces the acute phase of the disease and mitigates risks of heart failure. As a result, the reduction of hyperinflammatory reaction within the cardiac tissue reduces risks of myocarditis. Last but not the least, as we know from the very beginning of the pandemic, one of the characteristic symptoms of COVID is loss of taste and sense of smell. Plus, virus is known to affect nervous system and cause encephalitis of a various degree. To alleviate the intensity of anosmia and loss of sense of taste, MF Plus researchers have included the neuropeptides, cell extracts from the CNS cells. It is done with the intention to reduce the severity and duration of encephalopathy, reduce the risk of damage to the cranial nerves and possibly prevent the delayed complications such as stroke and some others. The Pandemic Emergency Recovery Booster mitoorganelles and nano-organopeptides are supposed to be used in a short-term protocol with the sole purpose of enhancing the recovery and preventing development of secondary complications. NOP are suitable for sublingual consumption, as well as IM and subcutaneous, while for the mitoorganelles the preferred route of administration is IM. Unfortunately, following the recovery from COVID, many patients develop so-called post-COVID syndrome, which includes persistent shortness of breath, forgetfulness, cognitive dysfunction, brain fog, fatigue, muscle loss, long-term muscle and whole body aches, chest pain or discomfort, depression and anxiety, and so on and so forth. For those who have just recently recovered, MF Plus has prepared a special formulation of cell therapy peptides, the Pandemic Post-Recovery Booster. This formulation also exists in two forms, as nanoorganopeptides and mitoorganelles. Both MF Plus, MO and NOP are formulated with cell extracts from lung, heart, mesenchyme, placenta, CNS and pituitary gland, and adrenal cortex. The lung cell extracts assist in preventing the development of post-infection pulmonary fibrosis and supports the main function of alveolar tissue, oxygenation and gas exchange transport. Heart cell extracts are included for the purpose of reduction of risk of myocarditis, supporting the contractile function of the myocardium, reduction of the risk of cardiac fibrosis and reduction of risk of the exacerbating of the pre-existing chronic heart disease. Placental peptides and growth factors function is regulation of the ECM, the extracellular matrix, which was damaged during the infection, and the pericrine effect on the epithelial and endothelial tissue mostly through the stimulation of the pool of dormant, dormant mesenchymal stem cells. Neuropeptides function is mostly through the reduction of the post-infection encephalopathy, support of the cognitive function, memory and sleep, as well as reduction of the intensity and duration of anosmia and other possible secondary complications such as stroke and metabolic encephalopathy. The addition of the adrenal cell extracts is targeting the pro-inflammatory reactions which may persist after the infection due to circulating cytokines. Apart from that, adrenal cell extracts may aid in preventing the development of the adrenal fatigue and adrenal failure which may occur after the infection. 
The mesenchymal cell extracts contribute to regeneration of the ECM, the extracellular matrix, in the affected organs and tissue. Along uh, with the cardiac cell extracts and extracts from alveolar lung tissue, mesenchymal peptides stimulate the regeneration of the damaged myocardium and lungs and support the structural integrity of endothelium in all organs and systems affected by the inflammatory and infectious process. The post-recovery booster non-organopeptides and mitoorganelles protocol is two to three weeks. However, it can be used for an extensive duration, up to four months if it's necessary. NOPs are suitable for administration at a frequency of every other day, while mitoorganelles are sufficient to be used two to three times a week. As for the contraindications and limitations of use for all three formulations, the emergency immune booster, the emergency recovery booster, and the post-recovery booster are either individual intolerance of the product or severe allergic reactions to leparin and leparin products. So guys, I hope that this information helps as many people as possible to be safe and reduce personal risks from COVID. We wish you all to stay healthy, be alive, and of course, don't forget to have fun. Cheers.